Hello again and welcome to another video from the Marketing Study Guide. In this video we're going to have a look at how we calculate share of customer. Uh, my name is Jeff and I'm a long-term marketing lecturer and practitioner. Okay, I'm sitting here in Excel as you can see and what I've done is I've got 10 customers listed and I've got our sales, uh, firm 2 sales, firm 3. You can add more or less firms if you like. So I've gone through and done it per customer. So this means immediately to calculate share of customer precisely that you must have access to this sort of data. So you may be capturing it through um, a loyalty program that's run through a, a retailer, for example, and they are capturing it on behalf of every business or brand that they sell for. Okay, so you can see that some customers do not deal with us and some customers are spending a fair bit with us. So in terms of sales, our price point is $4.99, this competitor is at $2.99, and this competitor is at $6.99. So we are the mid-price, this is the discounter, this is the premium brand. Okay, and as we go across, we need to add up these. So 0, 114, 64, gives us 178. So, and then we do the same thing for revenue, we add up the revenue. So as you can see there, they're just addition formulas. Okay, so, so far so good. Okay, we'd have all access to that information. Now we want to work out share of customer. And as you can see, I've got nothing here. Okay, because they're not a customer. So the formula is if C8, which is this number here, that is greater than zero, give me C8. If not, give me nothing. Okay, and I do it that way. That way I can then drag that formula down. So once it's in there, uh, it can continue all the way down. So it's just a duplicate. Um, if I don't do that, I have to go through and delete all the zeros. And if I have a lot of customers, that's obviously uh, you know too much work to do in Excel. Um, so I'm left with the 70. And this second number here, because that's the 70 from us, the second number here is 194. This is what the customer bought in total. So that's that number there. So they bought 70 from us, 194 in total from all brands. So they bought 102 there and 22 from that brand. Um, and gives us 194. And I've done the same thing over here for dollars. So 808 is over there. And we picked up 349 of their revenue. And we have 36% share of that customer in terms of units and 43% um, in terms of, of revenue, which is fantastic. So we continue down and we add all these up. We've got E for each customer, share of customer, and then we have the total. So of the customers who deal with us only, uh, we've picked up that many units, that much in terms of, of revenue. Um, sorry, that's in terms of revenue, and here is the units. So we've picked up 80, 38% of units, share of customer, and 45% share of revenue. And we continue across and we repeat the same thing for each one. So firm two and then firm three. So we can then compare ourselves. So if you look at the, the premium end of the market here, this is the premium, they have the, the, the more expensive price. You can see that they only pick up a 30% share of units, but 22% of revenue. So that goes up because they're charging more money. Uh, this is the, the budget end. So they pick up more units and a lower share of revenue. And we're about roughly the same because we're about a midpoint there. Okay, so this tells us that there are opportunities in terms of A, customers that we don't have at all, which is a concern. Um, so we're obviously missing out on some types of customers, so we need to appeal to those. And it also tells us who our high value customers are, where we're winning a lot of their business. Um, and you can see this one here, they're picking up almost 100%. So that's obviously customers we would look to protect. And then for this one here, for example, customers, types of customers, we would look to grow. Obviously, I've done this on a per customer basis, but in reality, we would segment it and we put these customers into, into segments and then work out where our opportunities are. So 
hopefully that was helpful for you. I have a second video that she goes through and discusses the components of market share. So this is sort of an introduction to that. So uh, please check out my other video and please subscribe to the channel.